Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to the Ship Constructor CAD CAM software. My name is Phil Christensen and our company Formsys, as well as developing the MaxSurf suite of Naval Architecture software, also collaborates with Ship Constructor to sell and support that software in Australia, New Zealand and other countries. So what is Ship Constructor? It's a complete suite of shipbuilding specific detailing and production software. It covers all of the disciplines involved in a shipbuilding project, structural, mechanical, piping, HVAC, and so on. The whole of Ship Constructor runs inside AutoCAD to take advantage of that common platform. And most importantly, it lets everyone in your team work together to deliver a high quality, complete production package to the shipyard. Ship Constructor is used all around the world. It's used on large and small projects, it's used on steel and aluminium vessels, it's used in commercial and naval applications, and it's used in design offices and shipyards. In our base down here in Western Australia, we have a local company, Austal Ships, who's been a long time user of Ship Constructor. They lead the world in high speed vessel design and construction, and they've successfully applied Ship Constructor to monohulls, catamarans, and trimarans in both commercial and naval projects. Another interesting example of a ship constructor user is the Royal Hoosman Yard in the Netherlands. They're a world leader in luxury vessels and they apply ship constructor to both the structural and the mechanical systems in their vessels. Their luxury vessels are extremely complex and ship constructor helps them manage modeling and production. So how does ship constructor relate to MaxSurf? MaxSurf is used in the initial phase of the project for initial design and analysis. This covers hull modeling, initial structure, as well as stability, motions and resistance prediction, and structural analysis. Ship Constructor takes over from there and lets you carry out detailed design and production, and in combination with Navisworks, helps everyone visualize and collaborate on the same 3D model. That 3D model is at the heart of Ship Constructor. We call it the Marine Information Model, and it's a database that contains everything about the vessel the details of all of the individual parts, the sequence to be used for production, and as well as the graphics, the detailed production information, such as weld lengths, paint areas, weights, and center of gravities, as well as detailed stock reports. Ship Constructor uses a concurrent engineering approach using the different modules in the system. We can be simultaneously modeling structure and distributed systems as well as preparing information for production output. This concurrent approach allows you to bring forward the finish state on your project with everyone working in parallel. An important part of Ship Constructor is its AutoCAD platform. This enables a unique capability called associative drawings. That means from this common 3D model, detailed drawings, whether they be simple assembly drawings, complex assembly drawings, or pipe spool drawings are all directly linked to the 3D model. If the model changes, the drawings can be updated automatically. The AutoCAD platform also has an important benefit in that it allows your team to reuse their existing skills as well as reuse their existing drawings. Our experience over many projects is that Ship Constructor takes significantly less time to get your team proficient, typically a week of training on structure and a week of training on mechanical is all that's required. The Navisworks component from Autodesk helps the ship constructor model be shared between engineering and production. That shared model is not just the graphical information, it's also the detailed properties of each part. Typical workflows in ship constructor for the hull geometry, the model is typically started in MaxSurf or other systems like Rhino or other naval architecture modelers and imported into the Ship Constructor hull model. From there, production information about curved parts, including shell plates and stringers, can be developed. It's also possible to section through the hull model as a starting point for internal structure. The workflow for internal structure takes those cut sections and allows you to set up a series of planar groups for each frame, deck, and longitudinal bulkhead. The draftsmen working in those planar groups can use conventional AutoCAD skills to create the model from construction lines. If those construction lines change, the parts update automatically. 
Ship Constructor takes care of the detailed 3D creation based on the stock information and details like end treatments, the 3D parts are made from the construction lines. There's also interference checking to validate the accuracy of your model. From that 3D model, production drawings and production codes can be produced. That structural model will also be shared with the mechanical team as a starting point for distributed systems. Their workflow commences with that structure typically, and they can lay out equipment, route pipes, and run HVAC ducting. The production outputs from that 3D model include arrangement and spool drawings with detailed bills of materials and dimensions. The production outputs from Ship Constructor from the 3D model include 3D assembly drawings, profile drawings, nest drawings, spool drawings, and arrangement drawings. The Navisworks model created from Ship Constructor allows you to walk through, inspect, and measure your model and look at the attributes of all parts. Let's switch over to the Navisworks model and we can see we have a very complete model here that we can walk through in real time uh, on any standard desktop or laptop computer. As we walk through that model you can see that not only do we have an accurate 3D representation of the vessel but we can also select any part such as this valve and inspect the properties of that part including its material, weight, system and so forth. If we inspect all of the model we can see that we have in Navisworks a sectioning system that allows us to dynamically slice through the structure to help visualize how the vessel comes together from the double bottom all the way down through the deck, the equipment that goes with that and up to the remains of the model. So the common 3D model brings everyone on the team together and Ship Constructor is the tool that will help them work in that way. Thank you for watching.